I do now want to pivot to some historic media news of the week that you, <laughs> along with everyone at Mediate, has been covering that Fox News has settled with Dominion voting systems for $787.5 million. What do you make of this enormous settlement? Well, you know, just to put it in perspective, this is the media settlement in the history of history, as far, as far as anybody can tell. Um, Dominion had sued for $1.6 billion, so that figure being a little shy of $800 million is just roughly under half that. It's a colossal sum of money, and it's more than the company itself has been valued. Um, I think Eli Honig pointed out that the recent valuations uh, for investors were showing that the company was worth about a tenth of that. Um, but, you know, Fox may have been able to dodge two big bullets in that they didn't have to have the spectacle of Tucker Carlson or Rupert Murdoch and the rest of them being grilled on the witness stand. And they they did not apparently in that settlement agreement um, agree to any sort of on-air apology. But what we do have is this massive record. I don't know if you've gone through the court records on this stuff, but the pretrial discovery found just, I mean, there were hundreds and hundreds of pages and all these different motions that were showing all of these text messages and emails where the Fox executives and honor personalities were admitting that the conspiracies about election fraud in the 2020 presidential election were not true, that there was no basis for them, and that they were silly and nutty and crazy. Uh, I mean, these are words that they use, nutty, crazy, and they still put them on air anyway. And, you know, the, the, I don't I don't know how as as a as a media outlet, as as people who are saying that you're doing journalism. I mean, a lot of commentators have been mocking Fox's statement, say, you know, they say, oh, we're, we settle this because it's our commitment to high standards of journalism or something like that. And it's just it just makes everybody chuckle. Um, you know, you don't you don't pay somebody nearly eight hundred million dollars when you are doing great, high quality journalism. The $800 million figure says we did something very bad and we can, we do not have evidence that we can convince the jury that we were OK. Um, you know, and, and keep in mind, rolling up to this trial, the judge had already just completely knocked the legs out a number of their key defenses. For all 20 on-air statements that were on Fox News Channel or the Fox Business Network, uh, Judge Eric Davis in the Delaware Superior Court had already ruled that these were presented as statements of fact, not opinion, and that every single one of them was defamatory and also knocked out a couple other defenses that Fox had tried to put forward. Um, the fact that Dominion would have been walking into that courtroom with those statements already ruled as defamatory and only having to prove actual malice meant it was not as uphill a climb as these cases normally are. And when you have so much evidence of the executives and reporters saying, oh, we know this isn't true, um, it's it's really hard to say that the actual malice standards that you knew it was false or acted with a reckless disregard for the for the truth. I mean, they, there's all these text messages where they admit it. And furthermore, what I've always argued is more the actual malice proof in this case. It wasn't just that they knew it was false. They acted in a retaliatory manner towards any of their own reporters who sought to fact check or dial down the temperature on any of this. And you look at there's multiple examples, um, you know, Leland Vitter, who's now at News Nation, um, that they were they were going after him. They were going after a couple of the other reporters. Tucker Carlson called for a couple of them to be fired. Um, and they did, in fact, fire Chris Steyerwalt and um, the other uh, at least one other person at the decision desk. Phil Salmon. That um, had. Yeah, that made the call for Arizona for Biden. Um, you know, they they retaliated and were going after and chewing out any of their own people who were trying to tell the truth. So that sends a chilling message. I mean, if you if you got a mortgage and, you know, kids you're trying to save up for their college and you see somebody at your office get fired, you're probably going to say, maybe I should not do what they did. <laughs> Um, you know, it's it's just it's 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 quite a remarkable case. And, you know, the thing to keep in mind, the story's not over. 
Dominion is also suing Newsmax and OAN for similar statements that were made on their airwaves. And the Smartmatic company, another voting technology company, also has a lawsuit out there against Fox with similar claims. Um, and they're suing for, I think, two point something billion. It's, it's another astronomical number. But after an eight hundred million dollar settlement, um, you know, what happens there. Sarah, as you said, the story is definitely not over. And I hope as this develops, you come back on and give us your insight and commentary. Thank you so much for joining me, Sarah Rumpf. Thanks so much for having me. Have a good day.